who you are since you are the Israelite woman. That God, you're supposed to be, the, the, the heathens are supposed to see you as more precious than rubies. They don't right. see you like that. They see you as dirt. How do you change that? You got it some more? Read it then. There's more in that definition? Soiled or stained with dirt. You see, you see how they look at you when you call yourself black? Soiled or stained with dirt. Nothing. That's their definition. And that's their definition of black. Right. That's how they look at you when you call yourself that. Bring it out. But you, sister, you got to stand up and come back to your heritage, your royal heritage that you got. You ain't black, you ain't African American. You are the Israelite that the Bible speak of. That's right. And as an Israelite woman, there's things that you must do. Do you know those things that you must do? The first off, did you know that God had a dress code? Did you know that, sister? What's God's dress code? Tell me. Okay, you don't know? Okay, let's find out. Give me that. You know what I want. Let's see what God's dress code is. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Go ahead. Oh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. See that sister says the woman shall not wear what pertaineth unto a man, right? Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. God's telling us neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, sis, now, what's a woman's garment that the Lord is telling uh, me not to put on? My name is Shem, by the way. It's telling me not to put on a dress. Right. On top. And say, Shem, don't put on a dress. Right? We're going up, up to the top. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So if it's telling Shem, not to wear a dress, what does it tell you not to wear? Pants! Pants, that's what it's talking about. The Most High God said, no trunk, no cross dress, dressing between man and woman. Shem wear what pertains to a man, and uh, what was your name again? Mamie wears what pertains to a woman. Shem don't put on a dress, Mamie don't put on pants. That's simple, that's easy. But if you do do so, watch what the Most High say about that, read. Neither shall the man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so. so. For all that do so, every man or woman, if they do decide to do this, if they do so, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Does the scripture say you are abomination? Do you know what an abomination is, sis? Do you know the definition of abomination? Defiling yourself. I can't hear you. Defiling yourself or not? Defiling, give me the definition. Oh yeah, what's your name, sis? Rakia. Rakia. Listen up, Rakia, because this, you, you, let me ask you a question, Rakia. Do you want to be known as nothing or something? If I start calling nothing, I mean... Not, not in the eyes of man. I'm talking about in the eyes of God. You want to be called something in the eyes of God, right? That's right. Well, what, the first thing you got to understand, the only, th only people that matter to God is Israel. So if you don't know that you Israel, which we which we going over right now, then guess what? You in God's eyes, you're nothing when you read the scripture in uh, Second Ezra. But read uh, read that again. Deuteron 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 Deuteronomy twenty two verse five. Oh, give me the definition of abomination. The woman shall not wear Let's that the which definition of abomination. Read it. That which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman shall not wear what pertaineth unto a man. Mamby and uh, Rakia, right? Watch this, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither do you see any of these men of God that wear women's garments. Go ahead. For all that do so uh -huh. are abomination unto the Lord. The scriptures say all that do so is an abomination unto the Lord. Watch this. Let me read the definition of abomination to y'all right quick. Watch this. So the, remember, Mammy, that the scripture said that all that do so are abomination, correct? Let's see what abom let's see what the definition of abomination is. Definition of abomination. Uh -huh. A thing that causes disgust. A thing that causes disgust or hatred. A thing that causes disgust or hatred. So if God looking at you as an abomination, he's looking at you like you're disgusting or you cause it's hateful for him to see. It's hateful for him to see his chosen daughters to be dressed up like men. Or his chosen daughters to be dressed immodest. He got a dress code in, written down in here for a reason. That you must keep it. Here, take this. Uh, go to, uh, go ahead. Hey, sisters, I want to ask y'all something really quick. 
the conditions that's going on in America right now, I want to know what, what's your thoughts on that? Like, what's going on? George Floyd, Lamar Arbery shot, shotgun at point blank range, Breonna Taylor killed in her bed sleeping. Do these things keep happening to us only? Does it happen to Chinese people? Does it happen? It does happen to Chinese people? Does it happen to white people in this land? It seems to constantly only happen to us. Why? My, my question is why? Do, do you guys not see that? I feel like God gave... Come, come closer, sis. Come closer. Come closer. Wait, 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 wait. I have hearing aids in. Okay. Well, God gave man the world. God gave man the world. And the man is supposed to uphold, uphold the world. So if man uh -huh. is not, you know, standing at all, one, then everybody calls what I was telling them. Uh-huh. Especially the black man. Especially the black man what? He's the head. The black man is the head. Okay. Of, of what? Yeah, his household. Yeah. Of his household. Christ, okay, and good. one in the body of God. As Christ is the head of him. And very good, and, sisters. And, and, and the thing about it, too, yes. I understand what you're saying, and we uh -huh. all got different beliefs. My perception and how I see things, it may be different from you, but my thing, at, at the end of the day, we still serve the same God. Because my thing is that uh -huh. what I feel about this uh, situation with George Floyd, yes. situation with young My question is, why does it keep happening? What, what I'm saying is that what we don't, what we we as a people have not waken up. To what? We still sleep. We still sleep. Very good. We all still sleep. But check this out. Go ahead. Check this out, though. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What people are not looking at uh -huh. is that, okay, our ancestors have been put into slavery 400 years ago. Yes. And at the same time, even though we're right now in 2020, and right. they say 2020. The, the new millennium. Yes. But is that we got to start within our own selves because. Very good. And then they constantly say, okay. Now, well, hold on, sis. Let me stop you. Let me stop you. Hold okay, on. You I said we got to start it within ourselves. That's it. Now, my question is, you all right? Okay. Don't go to sis. Okay. My question is, you said we got to start within ourselves. We got to start doing what? Loving ourselves. We're okay. Sick. How do we do that? How? How can we expect somebody else to want to show Sis, us? How? How? Seeking. Seeking. Seeking you first. Seeking. Or how what, how would we seek they God? Praying, dying daily, dying walk, walking in obedience. Meaning that obedience. Now I like that one right there, sis. You said we gotta be obedient and to then, the word. No, and then the, the, sad, uh -huh. the sad thing about it, we don't know how to love ourselves because we can't love uh -huh. somebody. How can I love you if I can't love me first? Exactly. Because loving me is not putting drugs in my system. And, or selling drugs in the neighborhood. Okay. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not you good, sis. But, so let me get a scripture first. Hold on. Let me get a scripture first. I want you to hear this. Give me, no, give me Romans 15 and 4. Bring it up. I want y'all to hear something real good. Because my sister said, we got to be obedient. Right. Right? We got to be obedient. Obedient to what? God's laws. That's, right. That's what we got to do. We got to be obedient to God's laws. Because guess what? Your, your older sister, like, you probably probably a couple years older than me, right? Okay, probably way older than me. So you've seen some things in this land right here. I'm 56. You're 56. So you got me by a couple years. Watch this. But you've seen some things in this land here. We've tried marching. Right. We've tried voting. Right. We've tried rallies. We do table talks. Sit down, let's have a table talk. We pick leaders out of that are comedians, leaders that are actors, leaders that are celebrities. It's trash. The right. one thing we have not done is keep God's laws yes. refuse to do, and that is the only real solution to our problem. That's right. And, 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 One second, sir. let me get the scripture, and I'm going to come back to you. Watch this. You, you listening, brother? So we're trying to find out the solutions to our real problems. Right. Not just that one man, George Floyd, got a knee put on his neck, and he's dead. What about Ahmaud Arbery? Right. What about Breonna Taylor? What about the black man in Atlanta died last night? You understand? We all matter. Not right. just certain men matter. Read. Romans 15, verse 4. So I want y'all to hear this scripture. Good. This, you said we got to be obedient to God. Oh, now we're going to get God. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatever was written in this Bible aforetime. Read. Were written for our learning. We should take the examples out of what happened with our fathers and learn from whatever mistakes they made or whatever positive they did and follow that same path. Right. Right now we're coming to put our own path. Marching is not new to is not uh, um native to us. 
What's his name? Um, Martin Luther King took that from who? Mahatma Gandhi, who hated black people. That's, right. That's, right. That's where he got that marching from. That 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 unrest. You just um um get your get your behind whooped and hope that your enemy has compassion on you. Am I right, brother? That's exactly what Martin did, and we're still doing it today. Even though in the 60s, Martin Luther King said he was tired of marching. What? And what? today in 2020, 60, 70 years later, what are we doing? We're still marching. Right. We don't have no solutions here, okay? So we're coming with real solutions. Watch this. That's right. That we, through patience, that we, through waiting for the top, for whatsoever things were written a full time, were written for our learning that we through patience that we the Israelites through what through patience we gotta have patience and comfort and what and comfort do we have comfort in this land called America what do you think I think do we have comfort here are we okay here give me hold that give me Deuteronomy 20 and 65 we come right back say it again I feel like we can't get comfort because Why not? the women, women, we are natural nurturers. Yes. So whatever we embrace and whatever we dwell in rubs off on us. So if we're not having our men to uh -huh. lead us and, and give us that and lead us by in order and decency under God, by uh -huh. law, then we're going to keep nurturing everything. We're going to keep... We and keep in other words, you're saying you're, the women are going to be out of their God of divine role, right? Let me ask you a question. What do you think about homosexuality? It's not of God. It's not of God, is it? It's a lifestyle that somebody practices. And pushed it on our people, right? Okay, and then the, the, the thing is, it's sincere. Everybody uh -huh. got their own perception. Uh -huh. Everybody got their own idea. Yes. But everybody trying to come into this identity world. Yeah. My, my thing is, is that I can't tell you about you if I ain't got me looking in the mirror. You're right. But check this out. Go ahead. The main thing is that when we pointing fingers, uh -huh. when we judging, uh -huh. when you look in the mirror, what you see? You got you got a finger pointed back at you. What's your what's your point of telling me that? So my thing is this here is that a lot of people saying, oh, the white man did this to me. Oh, the white uh -huh. man did uh -huh. this to me. What have you done? Because when we were born, we were Go babies. back to Deuteronomy 22. When we were born, we were babies. Yes. We didn't know nothing. Uh huh. We had somebody to nurture us and get us to the level where we can walk. Okay. Then we start talking, we start hearing. <clears throat> and the worst thing that people fail to realize Go is ahead. that when a pencil and a paper and a book were put into a black man's hand, uh -huh. it became a weapon to walk by. Now listen to this, sister. Listen to this, because you said that we're having different ideas and things and that we push things on each other. Yep. Now, we're going to show you God's law one more time. And I'm going to ask you, what are you going to do about it? Because you said we have to be obedient to God's laws, right? Yeah. Watch this. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. So we're going to read the same law one more time. I want you to listen close, okay? The woman. So now this is dressing our sisters, our the Israelite princess on the earth. You guys are royalty, Boy. but you don't know that. We, and we don't live like that. One second, brother, one second. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God said the black and Hispanic woman should not be wearing what men wear. We already addressed that that's pants, correct, ma'am? Right, so that includes short pants. Is that right? Sister, stop playing games. No, 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 Don't no, come no, with no excuse no. now, sister. Show, show wait, sister, show wait. Show me your concept wait, that you got Wait, wait, I'm going gonna, gonna to show that. it to you. Read it again. The woman. The woman. Because those are, read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That includes all manner of breaches. Okay, so wait, let me, this, let me finish this. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me, I'll get it in the new. I'll get it in the new. Okay, okay. And it doesn't matter what testament it is. Because okay. God said whatever was written aforetime right. was written for your learning, sister. That's what the Bible said, sis. Just, oh, 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 come, come, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Look, 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 look. Sister, look. It's the King James Version. Sister, listen. It's King James Version. Bring it up. You got no excuse now, you understand? Because you said the, you said it yourself. Obedience. We have to be obedient yeah. to God's laws. That's right. What? Yeah. Sister, just listen. Just listen. Uh, give it to, come on, come read it right now. Come on. Let her read it right now. Verse 5, right there. There you go. 
Okay, it says in the book, shall not wear which would pertain to a man. Rather, it said, neither shall a man put on the woman's garment. All those that do is abomination unto the Lord thy God. Get a sister yes. hand. She, she ready for herself. So, sis, you see, we're not making nothing up. Oh, she got, okay. You understand, sis? We're not here to point the finger, ha ha, I'm doing God's laws, you're not. No, we're trying to find real solutions for our problems. Cops are killing us. There's drug dealing in our neighborhoods. Black, black men are killing black men in our neighborhoods. You understand? We got a lot of issues here. Right. You understand? So we're coming with solutions. And the solution you said was correct. We got to be obedient to God's laws. That's, right. That's the one solution a black and black man and black woman can't stand. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.